Shabbat Shalom. In this week's parasha, Parashat Va'era, we are introduced to the first set of plagues, the first seven in fact. And if I'd ask the question, who performs the plagues? You'll probably say to me, definitely Moses. Because as we know, God sent Moses to take the Jewish people out of Egypt. So obviously it was Moses who performs the plagues. And yet, when we read the text a bit more carefully, we'll notice something very strange. That the first three plagues are not performed by Moses, but rather by his brother Aaron. The plague of blood, frogs, and lice are brought on by Aaron. And the question, of course, is why? Here is what the rabbis say. In one of the Midrashim, they spake like this. God says to Moses, strike the, strike the Nile River and allow for an eternity blood. Moses responds, says, I cannot do that. Why? Because the river saved me when I was a baby. It was, it was in that river that my mother had placed the little basket. And ultimately, I was saved by the daughter of Pharaoh. And I can't do this. The river had saved me. Okay, do the next one. Same reason. It's from the strike in the river. All right, number three. Strike the ground and allow for the lice to appear, the kinim to appear. To which Moses again says to Hashem, I can't do this either. Because when I struck that Egyptian and killed that taskmaster, saving that Jewish slave, I hid his body in the ground. I cannot now go and, stri and, and strike the ground that had done a service for me, or looked after me in my time of need. And this is the very important lesson that I wish to discuss with you this morning. When it comes to, uh, when it comes to dealing with people, quite often... We, are, we, are, we, are, we thank them for when the events happen. But as time goes by, we actually forget the kindness that they performed for us. If anything, the Nile River is the symbol of, of great pain to the Jewish people. I mean, how many Jewish babies were thrown into the waters over the years by, by Pharaoh and his minions? If anything, Moses should have said, yes, I'm going to strike that river. But Moses refuses, says, yes, it is an evil place. It has caused so much trouble, so much pain to our people. But for me, I was saved by that river. I cannot strike the river. Let someone else do, uh, cast, uh, cast, the, uh, cast the staff and bring the, that plague. But for me, I can't do that because of the kindness that was performed for me. And this raises a fascinating discussion for, uh, for your Shabbos table. And that is, what happens when you have someone who has been good to you, but has not necessarily been good to other people? Do you say, do you jump on the bandwagon and slam them for what they've done? Or do you say, wait a second, this person has done good by me, and I can appreciate what this person has done by me. This is one of the, uh, the powerful messages that we learn from our parasha. How do we treat someone who has done evil, but has done good by me? Moses' response was, I never go, I cannot condone what they've done to you, but because of what they've done for me, I am going to step out, stay, stay away from this thing and let others react and respond. And thus, it is Aaron and not Moses who performs the first three plagues of blood, frogs and kinim. Much to think about. Shabbat Shalom.